Hi, uh, here we're going to show how to update the firmware of a Dell 1500 series switch and uh, we will have to reload the switch twice uh, so that uh, it includes the update of the boot hole and uh, it will be similar to the uh, N4000 series switches as well from Dell EMC so let's get started so here yeah, I have logged in uh, via the console so let me show you the version of the switch version of the firmware as of now show version so you can see two partitions on the switch which uh, contains uh, the active as well as the backup so we have the backup uh, and the active similar and, uh, so first I'm going to show you how to uh, update it via the USB and uh, then it will be the similar case how uh, we update it via the TFTP so the commands are pretty similar since we have seen the version on the switch so we have plugged in a USB which contains the firmware so we're gonna show see whether it's plugged in properly so it will be JR USB so here you can see the firmware so we're gonna update it now so we're gonna copy the firmware to the backup partition So once you type this command and press enter, it's going to start uh, copying it to the backup partition. So uh, since it's similar to TFTPD, uh, we're going to do it via TFTPD. I'll show you how it's done. First of all, we have to make sure that there is an IP available and we can uh, connect to the switch via the network so I'll show you the IP which is configured say so short one and we can see the IP address uh, here configured as well as uh, an SVI which is a uh, VLAN 100 and we can see that uh, VLAN inter the, sorry uh, the Interface 1 is configured with VLAN 100. So let's see whether we can communicate from my laptop to the switch. So I'm just going to type in pin 192.168.1.1. Yep, it's successful. So this is the network interface which I have configured on my laptop. So this is the IP which I have put in. Just to give you an idea on it. This is the TFTPD and uh, this is the folder where I have kept my firmware 
so I'll show you how the show that is there yep it's here you can see the directory the settings are pretty much important uh, on TFTPD uh, which we can download it from the internet and uh, configure it so this is the most important uh, configuration uh, that is to bind the TFTPD to the correct address on your laptop so once it's done uh, it should be good to go okay so shall start the process show version and we're gonna copy the firmware to the switch So here what we are typing is the Oops, sorry. is the source which the firmware is going to be copied. It's a similar name uh, which I have given, and there is no change, so that back up. So we start the process. So you can confirm the details which are given, whether it's correct or not. Given yes. It will take some time to transfer. We'll come back soon. So we are back, and uh, it says the file transfer is com completed successfully. And uh, so we are going to see whether it's actually copied. Show version. Yeah, you can see it uh, copied, and the backup is showing the updated version. And uh, when transferring the uh, firmware, uh, it's pretty much faster uh, when we compare it with the USB uh, together with TFTBD. So we're going to activate uh, the backup partition so that once the reload is done, uh, it takes over with the new firmware. So we're going to type boot system backup. Okay, it's done and we are good for reload. So we're going to go for a reload and it will take some time to come back. Reload is done. We are going to see whether the firmware is activated properly. There you go. So the backup has become the active partition and the firmware has booted from the new uh, firmware. So next we are going to do the boot code update.
so you can see the boot code is also updated right now and uh, we're gonna do a reload again so the boot code update is confirmed.